Hey guys, Modeling Weekly here. In today's video I'll be fully unboxing the brand new Spitfire Mark 5C from Airfix in 70 second scale. And when I say brand new, I really mean it. I believe it just became available on Monday the 27th for UK buyers. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Immediately we are presented with the usual beautiful Airfix box art, showing the aircraft in the US Army Air Force scheme. I'll get more into that later on. The box is Airfix's usual top opener with information on the sides, warnings, orthographics of the two paint schemes, along with information about the aircraft, a Humbra paint guide and the skill rating of 2. Let's crack it open to check out the parts. The box contains exactly what you'd expect with the average Airfix kit. The plastic parts all in one bag, with a smaller bag inside that contains the clear plastic. Then there is of course the instructions and the decal sheet. We'll take a better look at this later on, but it's beautifully printed to Cartograph's high standard. The kit contains four grey plastic sprues with one clear sprue. At first glance everything seems crisp and lovely with no obvious errors or flash. The panel lines are all recessed and thankfully they look in scale to me. Despite the very nice detail though, it would be nice of Airfix to go that little bit further, maybe by adding some smaller rivets or rivet lines themselves. For example, this Eduard Mark 8 Spitfire was tooled back in 2016 and features every single rivet line pre-moulded. The cockpit is really where this tooling shines though. They have added far smaller details than on the previous tooling and I'm very glad to see some amazing raised detail on the instrument panel. As this is a desert spit, it comes with a desert air filter, giving the appearance a refreshing change from your everyday Battle of Britain and European variants. Bad news Matt, the pilot figure is reasonably well detailed, though a bit blobby. I'd say the previous tooling would be a better bet if you plan on using the figure. In stark contrast to the pilot, the cockpit glass is absolutely crystal clear. It thankfully gives you the option of an open canopy, unlike the previous tooling. The one-piece part is also included, which is useful for masking the cockpit during painting if you don't intend to use it in the end. Being made by Cartograph, the decals are of course completely crisp and well printed. The amount of stencil data is sufficient, though if you intend to go the extra mile, you may want to buy an aftermarket sheet with far more included. On to the instructions. The usual Airfix format with a front cover containing a brief history in a few different languages. Inside we can see Airfix is using their new instruction style, highlighting previously fixed parts in red with the rest in grey. Feel free to pause on each page as I go through them.
The first of two schemes features a Spitfire of the US Army Air Force, 307th Fighter Squadron in Algeria 1942. I quite like this scheme. It's unique and gives a change from the usual British Spitfire. The second scheme depicts an aircraft in the South African Air Force, Number 2 Squadron in Italy 1943. Both schemes use the same basic three colour shades. Conversion for these colours in a few other paint brands up on screen now, though if you want to find completely exact shades then I'd highly recommend checking out modelshade.com, which has an extensive database of paints from many different companies. Well that sums up Airfix's newly tooled Spitfire. In answer to the question, should I buy it, I'd say yes and no. It really depends. If you're a die-hard Spitfire fan, 100% go for this kit. It's really nice in almost all aspects, and as far as I'm aware, it's the only decent Mark 5C kit on the market. If you're thinking about buying it just because it's new tooled and you don't really want another Spitfire, I honestly wasn't, wouldn't bother. Spend your money on something a little more diverse, as you won't be missing out on a whole lot as far as overall detail is concerned. Personally, I'll be looking forward to putting this one together, as the scheme looks really nice in my opinion, and I've only ever built a mere 4 or 5 Spitfires. As far as upsides go, the panel line detail is very nice and in scale, the cockpit detail is very nice, especially that instrument panel, and the paint schemes are unique and good looking. There aren't many downsides, though Airfix could maybe have added some rivet lines in places just to make it that little bit better. Also, the pilot figure isn't all that great, though it's not that big of a deal. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and leave a like if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye!